Yo, what's going on guys? Um, I'm in Thailand in a small island towards kind of the south of Thailand called Koh Samui. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, my apologies if I haven't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what that villa looks like. As you can see, this is my room, but more of that in a bit. Um, it's the first time I'm actually staying in a villa, um, and it's the first time I'm far this far away, miles and length and duration and all that sort of wise, um, away from England. So it's it's really one hell of an experience, um, and I'm gonna take you guys with me on this journey. But for this vlog, it's just gonna be a villa tour, and you guys get to see where I'm staying with the rest of the lads. And um, yeah, it's it's a good eye opener in case you ever do come to Thailand. Um, you know, it's always good to be coming with loads of people to get a villa uh, for many many reasons, but more of that in a bit. So um, let's get just straight into the villa. Yo, so um, I'm just outside the gate here. It's locked, and I can't find the key to really open. Show you guys what it looks like from outside the gate. Um, but honestly, you're not really missing much. It's just kind of isolated land with no much kind of development. Uh, mainly because we, we're, our villa's like on top of a hill, and um, the villas around us are kind of still in work in progress, you could say. Um, but once you get through the gate, um, we have our hired kind of cars and uh, moped scooters, whatever you want to call them. And then you kind of make your way to the villa. Ooh, it's really hot here, by the way. By the way, it's, it's like 39 degrees. So. Excuse me if I'm looking really sweaty and stuff. Um, every like 10 minutes I have to top it with like sunscreen and stuff. But here we go. So that is what the living room slash the um, kitchen slash the balcony looks like. Um, it also has a bathroom over here. There's Baco and um, yeah. So that's the top floor. Um, but let's go straight downstairs and show you guys what everything else looks like. Cool, so to go downstairs is the same way we came from by the gate. Um, there's the set of stairs. And once you do go down the set, stair, set, set of stairs, you end up with the first room on the right hand side, which is my room. Um, over here, God, I'm struggling to breathe. Woo. Um, yeah, you open it up, they've got nice little locks on them. So when you leave the villa at any point in time, um, you can lock your rooms, but also the gate's got a lock, but also it's like a private road, you could say. So it's really secure, you can leave whatever you want and I'll be fine. By the way guys, please ignore the mess in every room. We've kind of slept like animals mainly because there's lizards, cockroaches this big, geckos, uh, spiders this big everywhere inside the rooms, outside the rooms and um, yeah, it kind of turned into a bit of a hectic chase last night trying to sleep. Okay, cool. The lighting in my room is really bad, by the way, guys. Um, so my apologies if it looks really dull. Um, it's just you know during the day there's not much lighting, unfortunately, in this room. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is my room. So first things first, we've got a double bed. Then we have a TV, an AC, some windows, and then we have a couch. Uh, ignore my mess. Uh, we have my luggage. We have a massive, massive uh, built-in wardrobe that I am not making any use of whatsoever besides literally I think I've just put one pair of shoes in here and that's about it um, and then we have my fridge so you can put some water in there uh, every room has their own fridge by the way every room has an AC every room has a double bed uh, I think there's also one room that has a king size bed and um, yeah and this is my bathroom So outside Bako's room we have a fancy, I was about to say Sakura tree, but it's not really a Sakura tree. So room number two is with Mr. Pishwan Sleem. Hello. Um, so Pishwan, let's talk to me man, what have you got? You've got the well, same thing as, uh, as everyone else pretty much, the basics. Yeah, pretty much, TV. but the only difference, which is a big difference, is the room comes with me. But of course, it's one of a kind. <laughs> we have a couch, we have the double bed. One thing about Pishwan, right, he's making full use of the wardrobe with all those clothes. Unlike me, I'm like, just Everything in my luggage. Come, come inside, come inside. This is the bathroom. Woo! Shiny. <laughs> oh, I've got two, man. Uh, just in case, because obviously I'm high maintenance. Just, 
you know, one for the toothbrush, one for the face. That's it, and you know, if the shower isn't working, I can just sit inside the end. And just, yeah, okay. You know what, that's, it makes sense. You know, the ducts are all connecting. We have two showers. Yeah, running one. hot and cold water, one both down. at the same time. Yeah. We don't get that very often in our <laughs> previous hotel. Um, one thing he also has, which I don't have, is a bathtub that he can just sit in. Just like that. I don't really do much anything with it, but just like sit. Just that, just like that, just like that. Nothing else. And pose. Dang. God damn. Cool. So that's number two, room number two. Um and let's go straight to the next room. Thing is, by the way, all the rooms are pretty much similar in size, um, ish. But I guess the only difference is the single sinks, the double sinks and stuff like that. Adjacent to Pishwan's room is Kizza and Aftab's rooms, who are both over there. You were going for a swim and sorry wow my eyes just blinded looking that way um once again we have a couch we have a tv we have the ac we have the double bed and um yeah the wardrobe i don't think they're making any use of the wardrobe either but the bathroom once again same same layout it's just literally the opposite layout we have the bathtub sinks toilet and the double shower so this room that kizza and have is um the complete mirror of the room Pishwan was in. So hopefully, if I go to this next room, wow, the lion, I'm gonna have to look this way. Um, hopefully I'll go to the next room, you'll see some variety and yeah. Cool, so going this way, we have the pool, as you can see, as I showed you like 10 million times before, we have the pool and some trees and an amazing, amazing view from the top. Um, so these, this pool over here, as you can see from the sides, is lights and they change colour so you can change them to blue, red, whatever colour you want it to be um, and this is where we pretty much hang out most of the time in the pool because as soon as we get hot we just dive in the pool. By the way this water isn't really hot or any, uh, it's not really cold, it's like medium warm if that's a correct way to put it. Right so from the pool where I was going with is, one thing you want to know about Thailand is there's a lot of geckos and stuff and last night there was like one gecko over here and it was the first time I've actually seen a gecko and it was like super scary. I thought it was a crocodile for a second hanging on, you know, upside down on the roof. Um, but yeah, so as you can see what I was saying before, there's a lot of development. So they've got the pillars and stuff, the steel metal barriers or whatever, I don't know what they're called. And um, yeah, so it's one hell of an amazing view. People working, people chilling, people developing and Thailand so far is Amazing. We have an outdoor little kitchen section. There's music. If you want some music, there's the lights for the pool. And that takes me to room number four, which is over there, but I'm gonna have to go back up the stairs. She's killing me right now. So here we go. So room number four. We've got the AC, we've got the couch. Yeah, their bathroom is a bit weird because there's like no isolated section. It's just like oh, actually there is, I'm lying to you, there's a wardrobe. So there's a room over here, and that is where what, I feel like everyone's got a bathtub but me, which is not amazing. God damn it. And once again, the two double showers. That's what they're called. I don't know what they're called. That's what they're called. Who knows? Who knows? Cool. So on to room number five. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, on to room number five. I'm gonna sprint because this heat is actually bloody killing me. Um, room number five is better than Honey's room, which is over here. No way. Which one? Spin. Oh, here we go. Swipe door. Room number five is with the one and only Honey and Mr. Beza that is sat over there. Let me close this door, guys, because the AC is on. There you go. There's the YouTube mandems, yeah. So these guys are probably the, the worst in regards to luggage and everything. Jesus. No, bro, come on. No, this is, this is, look at that. So yours is alright, Hani's just like, that side of the room, Hani's room is just all over the place. But yeah, this room is exactly the opposite room of the room that we were in before with Kizer and Wally's. Uh, Kizer and Wally's? Ibi and Wally's, thank you. And um, yeah, same layout. Double bed, AC. I'm gonna stop saying that now because it's turned into a repetition. Um, but every room has a fridge, which is really good because we rely on that fridge so much for wow, it turned up. Um, we rely on that fridge so much for water and stuff. Same layout, guys. God damn it. Same layout. I'm 
backup and bathtub that I don't have. No, I don't have a bathtub, man. Everyone's got a bathtub, but me. But to be honest with you, but to be honest, I don't mind because I'm not gonna use a bathtub anyway. The truth is out. They do. I, they definitely do have the best view. Um, compared to me, my view is the pool this side. So my pool is that side, the pool itself in this section. Whereas their view out, they've got both that side and that side. Yeah. Yeah. Right, cool, right, let me show you guys room number six, which I think is the best room in the villa. Hamad. Um, Hamad has by far the best room in the villa, mainly because it's the most spacious. Um, he has the biggest fridge uh, out of all of our, well, out of all, because all of us have that, like the small one. And he has a freezer as well. So it's a freezer, fridge combined. And you have to go down these stairs. The only thing with Hamad's room, you have to, it's like, an isolated section where you have to go down the stairs. By the way, stay away from that section over there. Um, and stay away from that section before you drop. Yeah, don't do that, safety first, safety first. So, final room is room number six with the one and only Mr. Hamad Muley. So, Mr. Hamad is lying down over there. And as you can tell, he has the biggest room. There is the big fridge I was on about. There is a very nice wardrobe. Not as big as the ours, but it's really nice. So I like it. Plus, he's the only one that's got a top-to-toe um, mirror to look at himself. Not that we want to look at ourselves, but just, you know, just a top-to-toe mirror would be nice every now and then to look at your outfit. Yeah. We have the TV. We have one couch. We have a second couch. We have a freezer, a fridge. We have an amazing, amazing bathroom, and I honestly, this this bathroom, this is the reason why I really wanted this room. But you know, Hamad kind of stole it off me, and I'm gonna hold this grudge um, for the rest of his, you know, for the rest of my life, for the rest of, life, for the rest of my life. And um, so, yeah, we have a sink, a sink. Ow! Let's see what's that. Um, we have a mirror. Then we have one of these toilets. And if you don't know what these toilets are, then you really need to kind of Google stuff because. These toilets are like ace. They they kind of wash, clean, dry the, the whole scaboodle, if you know what I mean. Right, and the last bit of this room is, look at that, that's a nice design, isn't it? For a shower, wow, look at that. That is a nice design. But besides that, yeah, that was it. Those are the six rooms of this villa. It's called Manopoli. Um, it's based in Koh Samui in the top of the hills. Um, we are quite a bit away from the beach, as you can tell, but that's the reason why we got a, uh, a car and the, and the mopeds and stuff and the scooters. Whatever they're called, I, I really don't know what they're called. What are they called? Mopeds, scooters? Cool. Mopeds, thank you very much. Thank you so much for that. Um, the only thing that Hamad really lacks, I think, is the view, because his view is the little garden here but then if you look in the distance he has a little bit of view because there's development going on over there it's garden but then he's got some at least that section to just stare out the window out yeah 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 but um that's pretty much it the six rooms over here hamad a very good Adios. afternoon dude have you seen the second episode of Game of Thrones yet? i haven't no but i shall definitely look at it after this it, have you you've watched it have you watched it already all right, jump on uh, my room. I've got an TV. We'll watch it. Cool, Game of Thrones. You know, priorities. We've got to maintain priorities while we're on this holiday. Um, so that's the stairs, by the way. I was going down to get to Hamad's room. And, um, yeah, so Bad Napoli, Koh Samui. Um, it is worth 2 million, approximately 2 million euros, which I don't know how much it is in dollars, but just add a little bit on top of that. Uh, and that's what it is in US dollars and take away a bit from the 2 million euros and that's what it is in pounds <sighs> Gosh, this sun's killing me. Cool. So that's Ban Napoli Villa up in the hills of Koh Samui in Thailand um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this villa. By the way, this is the first time I'm actually doing a villa tour So my apologies if I've not done it right or to the standard that you guys have probably watched it or seen on YouTube by other YouTube creators um, I'm just trying my best <laughs> There, it give me some credit. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go into the pool now, and there's Pishton smiling. That's how he's meant to be. We smile. Um, I'm gonna go into the pool into the pool now because it's 39 degrees and getting hotter now because it's turning towards the midday. And Bezal over there saying no show. Uh, it's turning towards 12 o'clock now, which means the sun is right over my head, and it's raining a little bit. This is why we close our doors because when we go in here. The AC is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, have a blessed day. And um, if you ever come into Thailand, make sure you bring some mosquito nets and mosquito repellents like I did. Lots of sun cream, face, cre uh, face cream, 
um and yeah enjoy your time until next time guys see you later